Our finance series picks back up this morning. Now, last month, we talked about individual retirement accounts. Today, we're going to talk about small business retirement plans. Our financial planner's philosophy is you work hard for your money, but in reality, your money should be working hard for you. Roxanne, thank you so much for being back on with me today. Thanks, Jenna. I'm glad to be here. All right, Roxanne, I mentioned that last month we covered traditional IRAs and Roth IRAs. So today we're going to focus on small business retirement plans. What are some of those plans available to small businesses? Well, Jenna, today we're going to talk about two plans. We're going to talk about simplified employee pension plans, also known as SIPs, as well as simple IRA plans. Okay, and now why are these plans, mm -hmm. Roxanne, used mm -hmm. by small companies? Well, Jenna, for a number of reasons. Number one, they're really easy to establish, they're also easy to administer, and they don't cost very much money at all. Why mm -hmm. would a company mm -hmm. exactly establish mm -hmm. an SEP plan? Well, people would establish a SEP plan because it's an easy way for them to contribute to their employees' retirement as well as their own. I'd like to make a point as well, if someone's newly establishing a SEP plan, if they've never had one previously, if the company has 100 employees or less, um, they can get a $500 tax credit for three years to establish a SEP. So the government is promoting these plans. And now what size company establishes the SEP plan? You know, Jenna, in my experience, a lot of companies are actually self-employed individuals because these plans are, again, inexpensive and simple to establish. Other than that, it's typically companies with 25 employees or less. What would you say mm -hmm. are the main points of a SEP okay. IRA plan? Well, each individual has their own IRA account. And that IRA account, uh, the rules relative to it are simple and they're much the same as traditional IRAs as far as the investments, as far as the distribution of the plans and rollovers. So they follow traditional IRA rules, but the company is making a contribution to the plan for the participant. And what are those contribution limits in 2013? Well, in 2013, they're quite generous. Uh, the owners of the companies can contribute up to, it's a lesser than of, 25% of compensation up to a maximum of $51,000. Now, that's a whole lot more than people can put into traditional IRAs where the maximum contribution is $6,500 for someone over age 50. Now, are these mm. contributions, mm -hmm. Roxanne, tax deductible? They are tax deductible. And I'd like to make another point. I was talking about the maximum contributions. When an employer makes a contribution to the plan, and let's say they're deferring 10% of pay for themselves, and they're also contributing 10% contributing for their employees. So that's how the plan works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how, mm -hmm. Roxanne, mm -hmm. is a simple mm -hmm. IRA plan different from a SEP IRA plan? Well, a simple plan's really quite a bit different in that it allows employees to make tax-deferred contributions. Typically, with a SEP plan, the employer is making the contribution, although I'm going to make a little caveat here, which is that uh, you can have non-SEP contributions of up to, say, $6,000 by employees if the plan allows for that. But with a simple IRA plan, it's really designed so that you have an employer contribution, but employees are also deferring through payroll deduction into the plan, and they're not taxed on those contributions that go into the plan. Now, who exactly mm -hmm. would be eligible for the simple IRA plan? A simple IRA plan is like a SEP. It's for employers of 100 employees or less. and the people who are eligible, talking about the participants in the plan, you, a company can decide, we want everybody in the company to be eligible, or they can be more restrictive. And if they're more restrictive, Jenna, then it means that the, they can say to their employees, you have to have worked at the company and earned at least $5,000 in the last two previous calendar years, and you expect to earn $5,000 in this coming year. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. and now mm -hmm. what does this plan, mm -hmm. Roxanne, cover mm -hmm. all the employees? Well, it doesn't have to uncover all the employees. An employee can opt out of the plan, not mm -hmm. decide not to contribute to the plan. Then an employer has uh, two choices, Jenna. They can make a contribution to all employees, whether they decide to defer or not. And if they do that, then they're contributing 2% of pay. 
Or they can say we're only going to match up to 3% that of the employee's contribution. Mm -hmm. So if an employee contributed, for example, 5% of pay, they would match the first 3% of pay. So there are some, you know, there are some nuances to the plans mm -hmm. whereby the owners of the company can determine how they want to establish the plan and how they want to run it. And now what mm -hmm. is the maximum mm -hmm. employee contribution in 2013? Uh, the maximum employee contribution is $12,000 if the employee is under age 50, or it is uh, $14,500 for those who are over age 50. Okay. Now what mm -hmm. would you say, mm -hmm. Roxanne, mm -hmm. you've given us all the details mm -hmm. about both plans. What are, mm -hmm. just to mm -hmm. put it all in a nutshell, mm -hmm. the best points of each plan? Well, I would say, you know, the SEP IRA is one where an employer really wants to maximize contributions. They, you know, it might be someone who's older and they really want to be able to put aside as much money as possible. And it's a smaller company. They're willing to do that for themselves and for their employees. Uh, so it's traditionally for people who really want to maximize their savings. Again, I told you that the maximum they can contribute is the lesser of 25% of compensation or $51,000. I want to make one other point if I can, which I didn't add previously, which is it's not mandatory that an employer make a contribution each year, so mm -hmm. they can make contributions only in those years where they're really profitable. Mm -hmm. So it gives some flexibility to the employer. I think you know the benefit of both of these plans is that they are extremely simple to establish. They're simple to maintain and to administer. Um, there aren't a lot of requirements and rules relative to administration, so it doesn't cost a lot of money. And you know, the issue really is, I think most people recognize that they need to do some savings for retirement. Mm. And as such, how can we do that as simply as possible? You know, Jenna, 80% of all corporations in America today are small employers. Mm -hmm. And so here are two plans that are simple and easy to set up and administer and it benefits the business owner as well as the employees. It's a good way for companies to attract employees and to retain them. Mm -hmm. I was uh, mentioning to you earlier that I was talking to a business owner here in Key West on Duval Street. They own a store and they've had a simple IRA in place for a number of years. And the business owner was saying to me that she really thought the fact that, number one, they're a good employer and treat their employees well, but number two, that they're one of the f one of the employers that has a simple IRA plan has really helped retain their their employees and kept them from having lots of turnover. Great. So it sounds very beneficial then to small businesses to set up one of these two plans. Okay. Roxanne, what are we going to be talking about yeah. next month? Next month we're going to be talking about 401k plans. Mm -hmm. uh, they are also used by some small companies, but they're also used by larger companies. 401k plans are quite popular and so we're going to talk about the differences of a 401k plan versus um, the plans we've talked about today. Great. I look forward to having you back next month. And thank you for tuning in today. I will be back tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. If I, I